Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zerscher. I'm working away on a couple of different projects which are not ready to unveil yet. They're in the beginning stages, but I am excited about them and I hope that you will be too. I'll keep you posted as time goes on and as I progress. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. So while I do that, I'm going to be doing a daily stitch, one that I haven't done before. So today it'll be the cable chain. Tomorrow I'm going to do the beaded chain and the whipped beaded chain. And then I'm gonna go from there. I've got a list of about 20 stitches that people have either requested or that I haven't finished that are in Sue Spargo's Creative Stitching book, which for those of you who have been following me since the beginning know, that was how this whole channel began. The original idea was that I was going to go through Sue Spargo's creative stitching book and do a video for each stitch in that book. My initial thought was that I was going to post one video a week. We can see how that turned out. And then things have evolved from there. But for today, we're gonna to stick with the cable chain stitch. I'm gonna do it as always in a couple of different threads so you can see what the different weights and different types of threads look like using this stitch. It's a lot of fun, come join me. Don't forget to hit the like button. Click on that subscribe button, a little bell will pop up. Click on that for email notifications and comment. I love hearing from you, so leave me comments in the comment section. I also blog Tuesdays and Thursdays on my blog where art and life meet. Would love to have you join me there. And I'm on Instagram at Ariane Zersher. Grab something to stitch with, grab a needle and some thread, and let's start exploring the cable chain stitch together. Very petite velvet. This is this one, V649, on an 18 chenille. I'm going to come up right on the edge of my work. I'm going to wrap that around, the thread around, come back down close to where my thread emerges, and then come back out for my first chain. I'm going to try to keep these fairly small. Wrap around, go back down, not far from the emerging thread, come back out for my chain. And what that twist does is it gives you a little cable. And I'm just following my chalk line that I made, a kind of meandering chalk line, just so you can see what it looks like. And then I'm just going to anchor my thread down when I come to the end. And there's the chain with the cable and the chain cable using the very petite velvet. 
I'm going to do a cable chain right along the edge of this leaf and I'm using my Silk and Pearl. It's Mermaid Dances. It comes like this and then I rewind it on one of the thread winders that Sue Spargo carries. I have the link below. I love this one particularly the one with the spokes. It just makes all the thread wound on it really nice. So I'm going to come up. I'm using a 24 chenille needle. I come up and I'm going to twist my thread around like this. Put it very close to where I came out and then I come out a little ways away for my next chain and I pull this through. And what I'm going to get is a little chain or a cable and then my chain stitch. I then wind my thread around again. Once you're able to kind of get a little rhythm to it, it goes pretty quickly. I like to keep them small but you can certainly elongate the chain if you like by just coming up farther away. see the chain and then the little cable that connects them. It's a really pretty stitch. I'm using soft cotton in Picasso on an 18 chenille and I'm going to do the same thing. I've drawn myself a little chalk line here and I'm just going to do a little cable chain around this little circle. can vary at the size of your cable as well as the size of your chain by manipulating how so if I want my cable longer I'm going to go out farther from this end if I want it shorter I'm going to go closer to this if I want my chain longer I'm going to make my chain here longer or shorter it all depends on what kind of look you're going for I'm keeping these tiny because it's a small circle and I just like the way that looks. Then I'm going to end right where I began. And since I began with a cable, I'm going to end with a chain. I'll anchor my thread right there.
Here it is in the soft cotton. I think that's really good looking. So soft cotton, the very petite velvet, and then this one, which is my silken pearl right on the edge of the leaf. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and maybe it made you think of the cable chain, seeing it in different threads. Maybe it's making you think about it a little differently, how you can apply it. I think it's a really interesting look and it gives a lot of texture depending on the thread you use. If you used a, something with a little pile like an Aurora, that could give a very different look or a number eight Eleganza, it would be different as well. Lots of possibilities. Don't forget to hit the like button click on that subscribe button and the little bell that pops up for email notifications. I love hearing from you. Leave me comments in the comment section and don't forget to check out the description section where I'll leave links for all these threads. Until next time, here's to stitching together.